Hello, uh, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Um, today I'm going to show you how to add a custom cursor to your Squarespace website. Um, so as an example, let me pull this up, um, like this little M or like this flower um, or really kind of any image that you want and that fits your brand. Um, it's really kind of a cool little feature that you can add to kind of elevate your site and make it more custom. Um, and it's actually quite simple to, to do. So I'm going to walk you through that now. Okay. So let me delete this so I can kind of show you from the beginning. So typically your cursor looks like this, like this cute little arrow, right? Nothing wrong with it, but we are just gonna shake things up and make it look better. So, sorry, let me walk you through this. Um, on the design, or on the homepage, you're gonna go to design, and you're gonna go down to custom CSS. Okay, from here, you are going to copy and paste this code. Um, and you'll find this code either on my blog post, um, if you are watching this on YouTube, um, or to like by scrolling down on my blog post. Um, okay, so just copy and paste it to this custom CSS panel. And now you're going to hit manage custom files. So I already have these, so let me just delete these so you can see how they look. Okay, so then you're going to add images or fonts. Um, in this case, it's going to be either like a PNG or a JPEG works as well. Um, and just as a recommendation slash, this is really the main way it's going to work, um, your image or whatever icon thing that you set this to has to be around 30 by 30 pixels. So it's quite small, uh, but it will show up quite nicely. So let me pull mine up. Okay. Um, and, uh, you can just drag and drop this there. And you're going to highlight in between these parentheses, go back to custom file and just click this. It's going to fill it out for you and then hit save. And then you can see that this little green flower appears um, as your cursor. Um, and it kind of like goes through. Super cute. One thing that it, you can tell is when it hovers over, it changes to that like hand. I would be somewhat cautious on either adding a hover icon or not because just sometimes depending, I've noticed that it makes it a little bit harder to click on the actual like um, links. Um, so just be a little bit cautious, but if you do want to add a hover um, icon or to continue it to look to like hover over, um, then you are going to copy and paste this code. And just to show you as an example, let me, um, I am going to add a purple flower. And again, go down here, highlight where like between the parentheses, manage, click that. Okay, make sure it's in there and then hit save. Okay. And now you'll see that it changes colors when you hover. So let me just pull this to widescreen. So you have like the green flower and then um, the purple, green, purple, green, purple. Um, it's really fun, it's kind of cute. Um, again, I'll just, you know, to be honest, I, I've noticed sometimes that um, when you are trying to click something, it doesn't like work as great because of the hover icon. If it's working for you and you get some people to test it out just to double check um, and everyone's happy with it and no one's having issues clicking on it, then go for the hover effect. If not, then um, just stick with like a cute cursor icon because I think that's, um, you, you kind of just want to make sure people can actually use your site. Um, but yeah, so you can, you know, kind of go to wherever, I'm just using like a template site right now, but um, really kind of cute. Like you have like this now, um, 
and I'll change. Um, we can do this again, and like you can add, again add like any type of PNG or file um, to it. So um, and just as like other examples, like let's say you don't want this flower, um, you can do manage. Let's do the M, and let's do like just a simple circle, just so you can kind of see what other options are. Again, you can like I have a dragonfly on my site because it's essentially like my submark um, and it works super well with it. You can do stars, um, like your letter, um, like circles, basic shapes, um, and really to like have fun with it, whatever kind of works with your brand. So here is the M. Um, you can see that it goes into like a black circle when I hover. Um, yeah, so I mean, again, just have fun with it. Um, double check that if you do add the hover option that all, that you're still able to click all the links that you need to and that it's still user friendly. Um, but yeah, have fun. Um, again, check the code on my site, um, on the blog post. Uh, feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Um, and make sure you like subscribe or follow along for even like more tips, tricks, code, and like design resources um, and lifestyle resources, honestly. Um, and visit dragonflyavenue.com for more. Okay, thanks. Bye.